All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Q&A video. It's been a while since I've actually done a Q&A video from Twitter. I got a ton of questions. I probably will not get through all of them, but I'll write down some that I miss. So here we go. Let's get started because I want to try to answer as many questions as I can. So I pretty much tweeted, haven't done a Q&A in a while. So if you have any questions you want to ask me, shoot away. Could be about MK12 and Justice 3. Or if I sleep in the nude, ask away. You know, you got to have a setup there, right? So of course, Waffles, you know, he he's a good wingman. So he asked me, do you sleep in the nude? Funny you should ask that question. I used to. I used to, but I had a traumatic experience. One morning, I woke up and did my push-ups in the nude. I didn't see the mousetrap. Never been the same since. <laughs> oh, man. I love Ronnie Dangerfield. If, if you guys have never heard any of Ronnie Dangerfield's jokes, I recommend you go on YouTube. Watch him on Carson. One of the funniest people to ever live. I could, I could give out his one-liners all day. I love Ronnie, Ronnie Dangerfield. Just wanted to set up that joke, you know what I mean? It's one of my favorite ones. All right, so his real question was, did you watch DC Fandom? Fandom? I don't even know what the hell to call it. Fandom, I think it's called, right? If so, what's something that I'm looking forward to? Personally, the Batman looks dope, and I can't wait for season three of the Harley Quinn show. I've actually never watched the Harley Quinn show. I heard it's really good, so I should probably get on that. Of course, the trailer for Batman was absolutely amazing. Like it was very, very. You you could tell that the cinematography is going to be amazing. Whether the actual performance is going to deliver on some of the classic Batman performances, like George Clooney, of course. I don't know, man. It's going to be very hard to top George Clooney. But I think Robert Panson looks the part, you know, under that cow. He has a great chin. So he looks the part of Batman. And I know this is like a younger Bruce Wayne. So I'm, I'm actually really excited to see what he's going to bring to the table. So the Batman for sure was definitely the standout for me. Next up here, uh, we have a question. Super Snake 21. What did you do before you became a YouTuber? What I was doing before I became a YouTuber was I was working at a grocery store called Food for Less. I think those are only in California. Knows how to party. I think maybe just even in Los Angeles. I'm not sure. But it was like a grocery store, you know, like Ralph's, John's, all these like. And not as big as like Costco or something like that. It's smaller scale. But I worked there for about six months. Um and quit because there was one night where I had to work a double shift of like it wasn't even a double shift it was like an eight hour shift plus some overtime and then I still had to work through the night so I went in at 3 p.m. and left the store at 10 a.m. in the morning because they were like remodeling and there was people like quitting so I had to work like a double shift and when I got the paycheck for that double shift, I saw how pathetic it was and I quit. I gave my two weeks notice and I didn't even go the last week. I guess that makes me a really bad employee. I don't know. I just wanted to get the hell out of there. So that's what I was, that, that's a job that I worked before being a YouTuber. Um, uh, Hineso TTV, I'm sorry if I don't pronounce your name correctly. I'm bad at pronouncing names. Question one, this is more about you and your brother. Do you ever feel that your relationship with him is a uh, strain? <laughs> if so, how do you address concerns you may have asking because it relates to me personally? Oh, okay, okay. I assume you guys don't resolve issues over fighting games. Uh, actually, me and my brother, I don't think we've ever had fights. The only time was when you know we were like younger and we were really bad as far as attendance in school and uh you know there was one time that i got really pissed off because he didn't want to go to school but on the other hand i did the same shit so that i couldn't really be angry at him because you know he's my younger brother so a lot of things that i would do he would follow 
And that's one of the reasons that I guess none of us ever got into like drugs or, you know, any anything bad pretty much because I'm pretty I'm pretty, you know, chill when it comes to stuff like that. Um, so me and my brother are pretty much like the same the same person. So no, we've never had we've never really had a fight. So Moving on here, Roasted Nuts asks, if you could add a brand new type of finisher to MK12, what would it be? Well, I'm not creative enough to come up with something on the spot, but if you're talking about like other finishers that were in previous games, probably, I, I would be really curious to see animalities come back and see how Netherrealm will tackle animalities nowadays. Um, but babalities are would always be good because that's just a way to embarrass the hell out of your opponent. All right, um, Tower asks, outside of whatever the next NRS title is, MK12 slash Injustice Three, are you looking forward to any other fighting games that you might make videos on, like King of Fighters 15 that comes out next year, or older games that have already come out? Well, if there's a remaster version of Marvel vs. Capcom 2, which it sounds like you know something might happen in the future i would be on that like hair on soap but other than that i don't have like something that i'm like really excited for i will play king of fighters 15 because i've always been a fan i just never really got into 14 because i think it came out around the same time that another own game came out and i think king of fighters comes out early 2022 right i think it comes out in like february or march and that leaves me like a month to play that before a new NetherRealm game would come out. If it comes out around the same time that, you know, NetherRealm games come out. Assuming that there will be another NetherRealm game next year, which I'm like 99% sure there will be. So, yeah, definitely King of Fighters. And, you know, obviously Marvel's Capcom 2 is my favorite fighting game of all time. So, if there's a remaster of that, I'll play it. Um, Just Gamer... Shows Gamer Tings asks, uh, what are you expecting for MK12 story mode? Well, they kind of opened up the um, they kind of opened up the story mode to time travel and to yeah to to like time travel. So they could do anything with it. They could like reboot the franchise again, again, <laughs> and maybe do like alternate reality type stuff. I'm not sure. That's something that you know they could definitely get away they they could pretty much get away with anything now because they did the uh you know time travel time manipulation stuff with chronica so and now they got a new you know pretty much like god right they got the fire god Liu kang so i'll be interested to see what they're going to do with that but they could do anything uh call me johnny asks who do you think is going to win the nba finals or the nba this season definitely not the lakers 100 percent not the lakers i know i think i'm pretty sure johnny is a huge laker fan definitely not the lakers uh man it's 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 really hard because i think the warriors are going to be really good um uh, the nets would be the favorite if kyrie was actually you know there with the team uh, i think they get dropped down not by a lot i think they might still be the favorite just with james harden and kevin durant so i think the nets are still the favorite you know i think the the big three with the lakers are really good but who knows how russell west brick is going to mesh with lebron and and anthony davis and if ad could stay healthy then i think the the lakers definitely have a huge chance i i still think brooklyn is the favorite by a little bit by a little bit so i think i'm just gonna say lakers nets nba finals well if Kawhi comes back 100 percent and the clippers are around the fifth fourth seed then you already know the clippers are my team so if Kawhi comes back 100 percent like around um uh, i don't know march somewhere around there if he comes back like with 25 games left in the season, I would probably say that the Clippers have a huge chance of competing versus the Lakers. So I'm going to change my pick and say Clippers versus Nets NBA Finals, baby. Who's going to win? I'm going to say Clippers because they're my team, all right? But in reality, the Nets are pretty hard to deal with. All right, Jeremy Montilla. Montilla. What do you like more, Marvel or DC? I always liked Marvel more because of the X-Men. 
Um, but over overall, like if you take the X Men away, you know, I probably like DC more because I like Joker, I like Superman. You know, the Bats is always good. Um, I'm not so much a fan of Batman as I am a fan of like his villains. I think his villains really elevate Batman's like you know character because he has so much variety that he could work with in the comics and you know the animated series is something that i fell in love with in the mid 90s or i guess late 90s yeah i think mid to late 90s the batman animated series is uh is where i fell in love with the batman characters so i think overall dc because honestly the only characters that i like for marvel are fantastic four characters spider-man characters and x-men characters i don't i don't really care about iron man you know i don't care about thor these like avengers like i you know i just i didn't even watch a lot of the avengers movies i just watched the the big ones you know where thanos came down those are the only ones so uh, overall I'll probably say dc uh sensei i am or sen yeah sensei i am uh how are you with hot sauce and what's your favorite uh, I love hot sauce on everything that I eat. I'm not saying that I'm good with hot sauce and spicy food, but whenever I order something that has like, you know, spice in it, I always try to get maybe not the hottest where it like is painful, but I like that that kick in your tongue. I like the uh, the taste of spicy food. So anything that I could have spicy, I'll definitely have spicy. Um, I don't know how good I am with like really, really spicy food. I have tried like the hot noodles, you know, like the, um, uh, I don't remember what the hell they were called, but I tried the hot noodles and, you know, a couple other stuff and I did okay. You know, it hurts, but if it tastes good, you know, I guess you take the pain. Uh, I've seen people do the one chip challenge and I was actually thinking about doing it, but maybe, maybe for a million subscribers, I'll, I'll probably do that. Maybe do a two chip, two chips at the same time, you know, kick it up a little bit. Uh, let's see. Another question from Jeremy. Do you want Mortal Kombat versus Street Fighter? Mm, the, it, it, it kind of is like a dream matchup, like the dream matchup, right? Like the, the that would probably be the biggest fighting game of all time, even more than a Smash Brothers game, honestly. But I don't think it would work. I don't think it would work because Capcom would never have Ryu be decapitated by Scorpion. That's just something that will probably never happen. Um, so I'm not even going to consider it. Would I like to see it? Yeah, sure. I'd like to see it. But I don't think it's ever going to happen. I think Mortal Kombat versus a Killer Instinct. That would be more interesting, in my opinion. Uh, let's see. Mason Gray asks, are you going to collab with other YouTubers? A lot of times, I like doing my own thing. Maybe it holds me back from some like views, you know, because collaborations always bring out a little bit more views. Um, but I don't know. I just that's that's just always always been my style since the start of YouTube. Uh, I've always I've always done my own thing. And as far as collaborations, if there's something that you know is of like both both people's interests, maybe maybe for the next like another own game, you know, that's something that I would consider. But other than, I mean, what could we collaborate on, right? Just like a, a first to five or something like that. It's not really a collaboration. It's more like a matchup uh, collaboration. I can't really think of anything that I want to collab on with other YouTubers. But if anything comes up, you guys don't know. Uh, Bowser asks, so what game do you think will come out first, Injustice 3 or MK12? I really honestly think it's going to be Injustice 3 because... We just had a new, oh, Mortal Kombat game. I think NetherRealm is working on something for the 30th anniversary of Mortal Kombat, which is going to be next year. I think they're working on something. Either it's going to be a remaster of the old games, or it's going to be like Mortal Kombat 9 with netcode, uh, with rollback netcode, like Ed Boon tease on one of his tweets. Well, not really teases. It was just like a tweet. You know what I mean? We call it teases. We call anything teases because... We're fans and we want to get excited about stuff. I think they're planning something with Mortal Kombat for the 30th anniversary, but I don't think it's going to be Mortal Kombat 12. It would be really cool, right? A Mortal Kombat 12 coming out the year where 
the Mortal Kombat franchise is going to be 30 years old, that would be perfect. And even with the demonetization stuff on YouTube and everything, I would gladly go through another cycle of having to pre-record my videos and have people check them before it goes up and get that Mortal Kombat 12 compared to like an Injustice 3. Like if it was up to me, I would prefer Mortal Kombat 12. But I think Injustice 3 is is the mo more likely scenario. Uh, let's see who's next. So Loki asks, do you think there's going to be a happy medium somewhere between game speed, character movement, and MK12? What's the one thing you most want in the next installment? Well, Netherrealm always comes out with a brand new brand new system. Like, they, they don't like keeping the same thing for consecutive games. Unless it was Injustice, like Injustice 1 and 2, because it was like a legacy game. But if you look back, MK9, MKX... Totally different games. MKX, MK11, totally different games. So I think that Netherrealm is definitely going to go a totally different way with MK12. Um, I think it's going to be, you know, a balance more so of MK9 and MKX because I think they heard the feedback of people not really enjoying the pace of MK11. And come on, like, it's way slower than MKX. It's way slower than MK9. And some people like that. But the majority of people, including casual friends who like Mortal Kombat of mine, they don't play MK11. They play MKX. Even though they can't do the fancy combos that some of us could do, they like running in and fucking down to people in the chin. And, you know, the run, the run mechanic and just the speed of the game really helps with the fun factor. So... I, I think it's going to be more of a balance between MK9 and MKX. I don't think they're ever going to go back to MKX craziness with with the run, sadly. Uh, I think they like the dash a little bit more. I would like the run back like that. That would be the number one thing for me. I want to see a run in MK12. Because it opens up the combo potential a little bit more too. Uh, but I think they're going to keep it more like the dashes from MK9. I see them sticking with the dashes. So... If you ask me where do I think they're going to take the gameplay, it's probably going to be some sort of mix of MKX and MK9. I think more the movement of MK9 with like the combo of MKX, which which honestly would be like an absolutely amazing combination. So I would love to see that. Um, Endless Not asks, why do you only play casuals? Well, I feel like Combat League is too stressful. That's the reason. I don't, I don't want to have to sweat and wear like a headband and a couple wristbands, and sweat it out in combat league where I'm not interested in getting any rewards anymore. That's why I play casual because it's more casual. Uh, Marcos, or I guess, uh, yeah, I guess that's his like name, Twitter name, Marcos. Top five characters, NetherRealm Studios, Horror Knights, uh, Horror Slash Slasher theme fighting game. If it wasn't clear, oh, okay. So he wants to know, like, what are my top five characters for another um, uh, horror movie game? Obviously, Freddy Krueger will be number one on my list. Pinhead, number two. Uh, I would like to see Chucky because I would like to annoy people with the small hurt box. Uh, let's see. Obviously, you have to have Jason in there, and five would be. Uh. Who would be a good five? You know what? Let me throw an odd one out for you. If you guys have ever seen House of a Thousand Corpses, put Baby in there, which is a crazy ass girl, you know, Rob Zombie's wife. Throw her in there. Put her with, you know, her uh, her blade and have her do the lines with her crazy ass laugh, and I'll be happy with that. Uh, Swift Pickle asks, are you going to do the character cycle for MK11 like Injustice 2? Oh, I completely forgot that I did that for Injustice 2. Yeah, I'll probably do that. I'll probably do that. I'll play like one video per character. For, I don't know, how many characters are in the game? Like 34? Yeah, I could probably do that. Uh, do you have offline friends to play MK? No. Uh, most of my friends don't really play fighting games, um, except for one, but we mostly play like King of Fighters because he like plays the old school games. So that's like King of Fighters 98. He was one of my childhood friends that I used to go to the liquor store and play 
King of Fighters with. So that's that's pretty much it. Ivan asks if you could choose any of the next guest characters in MK12, who would it be and why? I think just Ash. Ash is like the next character that would be like perfect for a Mortal Kombat game. And it, it supposedly it was going to happen in MK11. It's just the deal fell through. You know, Br Bruce Campbell has already admitted to this. It was on the table. It was going to happen. But the two sides couldn't agree on either financials or, you know, something that caused the deal to fall through. So it was going to happen in MK11. 100% it was going to happen. But it just didn't for some reason. And I think that's why... Uh, he got replaced with who who replaced him? I think Joker replaced him in like the initial roster that was supposed to come out because I think he was supposed to come out in the first like wave of DLC characters But anyway, it was supposed to happen. It was it just didn't uh, Vigorous I think that's your name vigorous What's the reveal going to be in the game awards and just three a marvel game straight up to the next mk game also uh will be one million until then so things are getting excited oh yeah he's talking about um very very close to a million subscribers thank you i appreciate it i don't know what the hell i'm gonna do for that uh i literally have no plans none <laughs> i I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. I'm just going to like upload a thank you video probably and maybe do the one chip challenge and maybe like a stream or something because I really don't have anything. I already like milked all my old videos with montages so I can't really put out a montage because you already seen everything that I did before through those you know hype and salts of supers so I can't really make a montage to celebrate 1 million because you guys have already seen all those clips. Um, so what's the reveal going to be? That's the big question. What's the reveal going to be? Injustice 3, Injustice vs. Marvel, or I guess DC vs. Marvel, just a straight-up Marvel game? I don't think it's going to be a straight-up Marvel game anymore, to be honest. I think it's, it, it could still be DC vs. Marvel, 100%. It could still be that. But I'm leaning more towards Injustice 3, and if it's not Injustice 3, I think it's going to be a, another Mortal Kombat game, MK12. Those two are the ones that make the most sense. But at the Game Awards, I do have a feeling that it's going to be Injustice 3. How it's going to be announced? Who knows? Because if you remember, MK11 was like a surprise announcement, right? You know, Ed Boon came out. He trolled everybody. He's like, this is the award for blah, 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 whatever award it was. And then the, uh, the spear came through the screen. And then you saw Netherrealm Presents. And everybody went crazy. Are they going to try to trick people again into making it like a hype reveal? It would be cool. But then it, it was always it was really stressful during the game awards when like half the award ceremony was happening and I had to see I had to watch that without even wanting to watch it. I just wanted to see if Netherrealm was gonna reveal something. And then uh, you know, finally Ed Boon actually revealed the game. So I don't know if, if that's gonna happen or if it's just gonna be like one of the trailers. One of the, like, reveal trailers that they're going to show. Who knows? But if we don't get at the Game Awards, then it's over. We probably will not get a new Netherrealm game in 2022. But I am 99.99999% sure that there's going to be a reveal at the Game Awards. It, eh, there has to be. All right, let's see. Uh, it's Mako Savage. Would you consider doing a playthrough of MK Deception, Armageddon, or Shaolin Monk someday? I do have MK, uh, I think I have Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Maybe uh, Conquest Mode would be cool. Uh, maybe for like next year when the 30th anniversary happens. I'll probably go back and play some of the older games, like some of the older playthroughs. Do I have Shaolin Monks? I think I might have Shaolin Monks. I, I bought a bunch of the games before MK11 came out because I was supposed to play them. Um, but I just never did. <laughs> uh, let's see. We got Jan of Lord, Jan of Lord Ran, Lord Ran. Uh, what are your thoughts on the base costumes evolution from MKX to MK11, and what do you expect for MK12? The female characters to be covered up even more. <laughs> That's what I expect for MK12. Uh, from MKX to MK11, I think the costumes. 
in MK11 are hit or miss. Characters like Cassie have way, way better costumes than MKX, and she has horrible costumes in MK11, except for the Harley Quinn costume, which is like a cosplay, right? But she also has cosplays of, what is it, uh, Sub-Zero and the pink, the pink ninja. And she has a tuxedo in MKX. And her military costume looks better, in my opinion. And she has the, uh, you know, the shorts. I forgot what, the endurance costume. She has a lot of good costumes, but in MK11, it's just not there for me. Very repetitive. All right, last question here. Um, Minion asks, or what, what to expect from MK12? I think uh, the gear system is here to stay. It just depends if they're going to do like the Injustice type gear system or gear system like costume customization in MKX or MK11. But I think that's going to stay. I don't think we're getting like normal costumes anymore. I think it's just going to be like customization options like Injustice 2 and MK11. So that's what I expect for the next game, whatever it is. Minion EA asks, what DLC character would you like to see next M in the next MK or Injustice game coming out? Well, I know the next DLC like guest character is Ash for more combat. I can't really answer the DLC characters because I don't know what DLC, what like base roster characters are going to be in the game. In Justice 3, if Dr. Manhattan's not there, obviously he's going to be num my number one DLC character that I would like to see. So I think that's it. Oh, hold on. I got a couple more questions here on the screen. Just let's see if we could answer them. Tony Cybot asks, what's your thoughts on Mortal Kombat Challenge you've ever, or what's the toughest Mortal Kombat Challenge you've ever faced? Uh, I could be nailing a Brutality and Brutality Hunting, or, or it could be nailing a Brutality and Brutality Hunting or facing a tough opponent that won't go down. I think the hardest thing that I've ever done, man, I think is the Johnny Cage, I think the Johnny Cage Brutality, the, the one with the glasses, I think that's the toughest and most frustrating brutality hunting that i've ever done it was so annoying it was so annoying i've only gotten it twice in the entire span of mk11 only twice um the first one was like you know it was specifically brutality hunting for that and it was the same time because i had rage quit i had rage quit trying to get the brutality the first time so it was like the second round of brutality hunting for that specific brutality i got it once right there and then i got it another time by accident but i think the johnny cage brutality oh my god it's even harder than the jack's ragdoll because the jack's ragdoll you could pretty much guarantee yourself one chance every single game but for the glasses one i don't even remember what the hell the brutality is called you guys know when you toss the glasses at them and they wear it because of like last breath then you have to be at a specific fucking range and literally a specific range because you could be too far the glasses won't hit you could be too close and you won't get it that's the hardest brutality hunting that i think i've ever done uh, as far as like combos obviously my hunter predator combo was really really hard to do uh there was one time where i d i got the grab which is like the hard part of the combo like the down wanted to grab and my opponent was fucking mashing on stand uh light punch or stand light kick so when i went to grab this person was mashing on the button so they teched my fucking throw they teched the throw by accident when i should have gotten the combo way before and wouldn't have put myself through the stress of trying to get that combo for like another two videos this dude, he teched the throw by accident when I got him in the combo. Obviously, you could tech the throw because it's a throw. Even if you're, even if it's in a combo, you could tech it. This dude actually teched it because he was mashing on his fucking buttons. I was so pissed off that day. I don't remember what the video is called, but you guys could search it up on my channel. Uh, you know, Hunter Predator. Maybe like I can't believe that happened. So something like that. You know, clickbaity title. You guys know. You guys know how we do. He has, he also has another question. Also, I have high hopes for Big Scary Boy Onaga being an MK12. Oh, that would be cool. I think they have to do Onaga at some point, right? And there is one more here. 
Uh, Sukio U, Sukio U TDP asks, outside of fighting games, what games are you excited to play in the near future? I was actually really excited to play the new Metroid game. I just have my Nintendo Switch in my other apartment, so I haven't brought it over here. I heard it's pretty hard, which obviously it's a Metroid game. It has to be hard. Don't fucking switch the difficulty. Let's just get the job done. The Metroid games have always been about discovery and staying stuck in one fucking place for a long ass time until you discover something and then it's like the most satisfying thing in the world. Um, so I'm gonna see if I buy the new Metroid game soon and play that. I don't think I'll make a playthrough of it. I just I would just like to enjoy it. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching today's Q&A video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it. I still have a ton of questions, so I'll probably do another Q&A video next week. And until then, I will see you guys next time. What's going on? It's Super here, and thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you aren't subscribed already, make sure you guys do so. And if you want to see some more, there's videos popping up on the screen right now. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.